Oh, see, and then, here, let's go down the torpedo tube. Hello? Torpedoes? Oh my god, there's a torpedo. All right, everybody, Bear here, and welcome back to Disassembly 3D, where we're gonna break stuff and blow it up and take it apart and blow it up some more. Let's find something cool to do. So, in the last one, we did hear the M1 Abrams tank, and you guys pointed out that it wasn't a diesel engine, it was like, oh my gosh. It was crazy. So we've got, we got a lot of cool stuff. I'm thinking I wanna do the submarine, the helicopter, ooh, a drone. I'm gonna start out with the drone. Oh, and it's only 78 parts. We can do this. So I actually have one of these and it's broken. Oh my God. This servo rotator could be, wait, I think I gotta get this screw on the top. Nope, it's just one piece. What sorcery is this? Aha, look at these screws. Let's get these. Now I should be able to pop them out. Aha. So that's what, four parts each? So that's 16. Oh my gosh, there's so many screws. I think that's gonna be the big one. Now, are we then able to pull this, the engine off of it? No? Even still? And for some reason this is glitched. You know what, I'm just gonna restart. Cause I don't know what that's all about. Now let's try this again. If not, then... Oh, now it moves? Now it moves? <laughs> some kind of weird trickery. This game is cool, but at the same time, I'm, I'm, it's, it seems like it's a little sloppy in sections because it's a port from a mobile game. But there's, there's not too many games like this, as far as I'm aware. If you guys know of games that are similar, let me know, because it's kind of an interesting... Get... What, what the... And now it's stuck! And now it's stuck again! Okay, we pulled out the battery. Oh my gosh, man. It's so cool, like, how... This is pretty relatively accurate. Pretty relatively? It is relatively accurate. The DJI Phantom. Dude, it's such a cool thing. The first time I flew mine, I, I crashed into a mailbox, which was pretty cool. You know, clearly I'm like a natural at flying drones. Um, ooh, we got cables in here. Give me your cables. And we just pull it out. I'm wondering, by playing this game, I wonder how did they get it to where like... Because sometimes things come out in really funny things. I almost wonder if they wrote a program or something that would look at a picture and then like break things down into segments, then they made a program that would allow you to take them apart, and they made a game out of it. I'm wondering if that's like how this all happened, that's just my theory, and that's just a game theory, but in all seriousness, look at this. There's so many screws, man. Would you guys like a screw? Because, uh, I got a few of them right here for you. Alright, we've pulled out all of the screws, I believe, on the bottom section, but I thought I saw some knobs up here when I was looking that made me- th Oh, it's just the shadow. I thought that, like, that might have been a screw or something. Alright, so now what do we do? Do we- can we take off the top? Oh! Okay, we- oh my gosh, we actually shattered it! Alright, we got that. Now, these fan blades are still freaking me out because I cannot move them. If I get to the end of this and I can't do that, I'm gonna be so... Hashtag mad about it now what do we got Ooh, oh oh hello whoa 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 yeah so sometimes this game can really derp out which we're experiencing here now it looks like that little what is that called a transistor or a a flagubilheimer maybe is what the scientists of old have called it what is this there we go now the beautiful thing about this drone is it's symmetrical so, we know that in most cases, there's gonna be four of everything. Or most things, right? Now, what is this? Is this a CPU? This is a central processing unit, I think. Oh, and it looks like that orange cable is separate as well, so we've gotta be careful about that. Yeah, see? Alright, good. And look at that, there's the CPU. These things, I'm pretty sure they're like, uh, I think DJI is a Chinese company. Dude, can you imagine if, if China were to, like, go to war and all of a sudden they're like... Convert all the drones to military equipment! That would be terrifying. Oh, I think I've got to get these little orange wires. Aha! So that's confusing, because those orange wires don't register as part of this thing, according to the little color scheme. They're just kind of there. Oh, <gasps> never mind. Okay. I was gonna say, ah, but you have to click on the little box. Yes, quite right, old chap, quite right. All right, we're investigating this thing. Now, can we hit these fan blades off? Let's try to get under it. 
Ha! Nope, does not seem to work. We've got 28 parts left, and according to my calculations, where is everything? Because I don't see it. We've got to get these these rotors off. There must be a screw on the bottom of them. But I already took them all out. 28 parts left? I've gutted this thing. All right, we're gonna drop it here. Whoa! When did I just lock my camera on you, friend? Now, is this one giant piece? We're gonna flip it on its on its back here, and then I'm gonna take off the legs, but now I'm like, where's the rest? <gasps> Does each one of these motors have something in it? Look at this! There's one little floating piece right here, I think. Nope. All right, wrong again. That will happen many, many times in this game, I've noticed. Uh, but if there's, oh! There's only six parts left. I... Five. Four. But now what? What about these? Come on. Come on, there's gotta be a piece in here somewhere. Why is this game so tricky? Alright, so what I'm doing right now is sorting. Over these, I've kind of at least checked again, but I always... I lose... I don't... What? Hmm. I always, like, think that I don't have a lot of confidence in, like, these parts because it's just... It's just tricky, and there's four left, so I'm like, where the heck are they? So we're gonna put that over here, and we're just gonna sort, right? We're gonna go through here. I swear, that, that like, looks like a part. And I've actually never seen the little pieces break before like that. But it's like, why would it... Why would it have this little floating piece? I swear, that's gotta be something, right? Oh no, it's it's lit in green, okay. Well, as we survey the wreckage of this um, once amazing Chinese drone, we have now come to terms with the fact that... What is that? That it might just... We may have... We missed something. Guys, what did we miss? I, like... It's not those screws, which would have been nice, because you can kind of see those. There's always some phantom parts, man. There's always something missing. When I disassembled the tank, there was something missing. Hmm. Very displeased here. Very displeased indeed. All right, drone. You son of a biscuit. I don't know where you are. Where, where, should we go to the submarine? The helicopter? The skyscrapers could be cool. Airplanes. Titanics. There's some pretty cool ones out here, an antique car. Hmm. Yeah, but if you see something on this, the space station looks cool. Let me know which one you want to see in the next video, all right? We're going to do the submarine now. 210 parts, good lord, you know, you know what's going to happen, right? Now, the first thing I want to do, we're going to be messing around with this. Instead of just trying to play the objective, we're going to play entertainment. I'm going to see if I can't grab a panel. Yeah, we got water in the submarine. All right, but oh, it's compartmentalized, right? So that means... You don't need that in- Oh my god, this thing is going down fast. Look at it. Blah, 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 blah. But the ship can't sink. And now it goes down to the bottom. All right, when we grab that out of it. Now, can, can we find the missiles tubes? Is this a ballistic missile submarine or an attack submarine? Now, the difference being ballistic missile submarines, it doesn't look like it. This looks more of like an attack sub to me. Because you'd see like these big open panels. Actually, let's- Oh my gosh, that's one giant piece. You won't need that anymore. Yeah, get out. Get, get, get off my- get off my submarine. Get off my ship. Now, what is this? Oh my god, it's twerking. Dude, look at that. The bubbles. I still think that this is a cool concept for a game, but I'd like some really, really in-depth physics. Um, like, I'm, I'm talking about, like, how someone could- Whoa. Like, oh, dude, it's making it hover. We've- we've- we've built levitation devices. It's a hover sub. What is that? Where's- okay, where- you know what? If there's no ballistic missiles, then maybe there's some torpedo tubes. Now, where would the torpedo tubes be? Here we go. Obviously, in the front, some subs have some facing the rearwards, but you can see now are these- they are individual panels. I like that. I wonder if you could- oh, see, and then- here, let's go down the torpedo tube. Hello? Torpedoes? Oh my god, there's a torpedo. This is awesome. This is the, uh, torpedo control room here. Fire the torpedoes, man! But we've only got one torpedo! Or as I like to call them, torpedoes. Because if you- if you're in a submarine, if 
fighting battleships, you wanna- you wanna give the enemy battleship the torpedoes. That's just how it works. That's just- that's just- oh my god. Oh! Are those light bulbs? Looks like a light bulb, like... That's- Tube loaded! No, it's not. Haha. <laughs> but okay. So, I wanna- I wanna just mess around with the sinking of a submarine, cause that is pretty sweet. Can we take this off? Of course we can. Fire in the hole! Hey! Yeah! Pew! <laughs> but imagine- wait a minute. Oh! Look at that, we do have a firing mechanism. Alright, so we're gonna restart the map here. And then we are going to... Get under the water. So, now which one is it? Fire the torpedo! Oh my god! Oh, there's a boat! Oh! <laughs> That's amazing! Can it, will it fire again? Will it fire again? Because I know... Oh my god, it just keeps firing! Is there another boat? <laughs> Let's see that from the surface. Okay, this now this I love this is great See you can take a game and there may be a little bit of issues in my opinion anyway with like, you know Finding that last piece, but it is a puzzle game at its very core So that's that's actually kind of cool in that there is the challenge But when you add things like this like oh, it's a it's a, a, a ballistic missile or it's an attack submarine we fire the torpedo. Incoming torpedo! We need to get our tuna out the water. Oh! Because it's a tuna fisherman in my my mind, okay? All right, you know what? I know what you're thinking, and I agree. Let's try that again. Now, I actually want to see if I can't get the torpedo to... Okay. Yeah, here we go. I want to raise the sub. Okay, we can, we can submerge it, but we can't raise it past here. That's... That's preposterous. We need to use these fins here. Oh, sir, we've lost our fin. All right, now, how do we do this? I want to see the torpedo being fired from just under the water. I want to see it come in here. Fire! Watch out, torpedo! <laughs> now, what if there was little people on it? Oh, my gosh, I want... Oh, there's so many things I would do if I had, if I had this game. It's so cool. Now, what if we take off the door? Oh, I think we start to sink. Nope, the torpedoes still work, though. Oh, dude. Hit it! Oh, it just barely missed it. Now, are we sinking? Is there a slight submerging? Oh, and they fired at different ones. That's amazing. Wait a minute. I've got to check this out. We've got to go to the torpedo room to see if it's adjusted in here. No, there's no automatic loading sequence, you know, which would be really, really difficult. If only we could torpedo ourselves. Now, can I grab a torpedo as it comes out? Oh, we're out. Maybe we only have six total torpedoes, and we're out of them. Okay. All right, we're going to play Catch the Torpedo. Uh, I, I don't think it's going to work, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to try. Oh! Oh, I thought I had it. Watch out! Clear the beaches! Why are, why are the beaches being cleared? We're out in, we're out in the middle of the ocean. And we had a, an incident in international waters near the Spratly Islands when a Chinese submarine sank a Filipino fishing vessel thinking they were spying on them. You guys know about the Spratly Islands? Me either. I just read enough to know that it's a controversial area. We're going down! Fire! Fire! We don't need this anymore! What is this? What is that? Hey, what is this thing? Oh, fireworks! I love fireworks. I don't know what that was. Oh, dude. Oh! Wait a minute. There's the torpedo. Oh, those are the torpedo tubes. Oh, my twerkosaurus. Oh, you know the Surkorf? I don't know how to pronounce it because it's French and I'm American. I'm an American, not an American, but I can't speak French. But the Surkorf. Oh, look at this. The mechanism. Now, if I go like this, oh, it doesn't adjust the fins. That would have been pretty cool. Maybe I broke it. But, um, the Sukorf was a submarine that had battleship guns on it. And the battleship guns, the idea was that it would surface and fire these big old cannons. Look at, look at how many pieces this is. This is some intricate stuff. Whoa, we got, we got a little bit of lag. You can see in the little, 
in the water effects. Or maybe just the water effects are kind of, you know, basic or whatever, but... I mean, this isn't a water effects game. This is... This is a disassembly. Totally accurate disassembly simulator. Is that... Is that still attached? No, not anymore. Man, this would take approximately eight years as the crow flies to... To actually be able to disassemble this submarine. But I, I just love destroying things. Now, I'm actually curious... Is it weird that when I said sh curious... Actually curious... Shakurious... I thought Shakira? I don't know, man. That's just the way my mind works. Shakurious equals Shakira. Hmm. Definitely. Alright, now let's go... Let's actually control this submarine. Dive! 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 Weeeeer! 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 Alright. Now we gotta fire the tor- Whoop. Are you- Stop. Stop. Oh, maybe- Maybe we flooded it. Oh! <gasps> yes! The dive fins work! Alright, we gotta- We gotta level them out. Fire all the torpedoes, man! INCOMING TORPEDOES! <laughs> now, I wish I could take this submarine and put it in the Titanic area and have the submarine go after the Titanic. Or what if there was a simulator to where, like, you could take- I want a ship sinking simulator to the point where I could get any ship- Well, not any ship, but all the big ones, right? The Titanic, the, all any of the new Royal Caribbean ships that are, like, so much bigger than the Titanic. The Lusitania, get a U-boat, get a, a modern sub, and just, like, Hit them with missiles, hit them with torpedoes, you know, just ramming speed. <gasps> ramming speed! It's coming! <laughs> this ship, the submarine just came on so fast, it could- Oh my god! Das Boot! Das Boot! We did it! Fires of torpedoes in victory, gentlemen! Chew! <laughs> oh! We- Oh my god! We fired the torpedo so close, we actually just destroyed the front of the ship. But, it's still compartmentalized, so I don't think it's- Oh no, we've, we, we've got a little bit of flood here. Let's make the flooding a little more accelerated, shall we? We are going down with the ship. Dive! Dive! Das Boot is sinking! Das Boot is kaput! Das Boot is kaput! Oh my gosh. I wish you could trigger, like... Maybe if I get in the engine room, could I trigger an explosion? Look at this! Someone didn't close the bulkhead doors! We're sinking everybody in here! Luckily, they're- they're squid people. So they can breathe underwater. Dude, see that? That's what- Hey, get out of here! Pew! Get out of my face! Alright, where is the things that can go boom? Oh, Twerking engines! There should be like little buttons or levels. Maybe- levers. Maybe there are. Look at this. The bubbling. But I want to find something that'll go boom. What's this? What is this? You know what? When I was when I was a younger lad, when I was but a wee lad, I was so endlessly fascinated by submarines. At one point, my dream job was to be an architect for underwater hotels and structures. Aha! You don't need this. Oh man, is that is that really true? That the cone is empty? Oh, fascinating. I mean, I don't know. Man, this is gonna take a while. I need to. I need to find a way to, like, get access to the, uh, the explosives here. So we're gonna get really close, and then I'm gonna fire a torpedo at point-blank range. Now, look at how slow this goes, so I'm just gonna go ahead and skip this, because it's gonna take approximately- <gasps> Wait a minute! This is a submarine! Dive, dive, dive! It's not sinking if it's a submarine, it's called diving, Captain. Well then stop doing it! Alright, the time has come to fire the torpedo. Oh! We just destroyed the front of the of the sub as well as the enemy boat, the enemy fishing trawler here on the Spratly Islands. These are our islands. And we will have vengeance in this life or the next. And look at that, and then the sub goes beer! Beer! We're sinking! Let's break all the components and flood the other sections of the ship. That'll help us survive, but at least they would have sank in sh relatively shallow waters. Rescue operations should not be a, a major issue. It's just a matter of who is alive. But that's a cool thing, right? Oh, man. I want, I want a world, I want a, I want a, I want a U-boat. A, a nice, a good old German Type 7 or Type 21 U-boat. That would be so wunderbar, yeah? They should definitely have some, uh, German wonder weapons from World War II. Look at that, man. But 185 parts. 
I wish I knew how to make this explode, because I know there's this, but you have to beat the level in order to get the bomb. I think it'd be kind of cool if you could... Hmm, if you could, like, maybe get access to the bomb or, like, somehow trigger these torpedoes to explode inside the ship. But I don't... Oh, wait a minute, maybe I can do that. I wonder if it's still gonna work, but I'm gonna try something, and it may be too late. Maybe we'll have to do another one. But this is for science. What I'm trying to do is get this in front of the torpedoes. I need two hands. If this was a VR game... You hear that, disassembly? Make disassembly VR. Confirmed. That'd be brilliant. Oh, please, please stay... Right there. Now just nestle yourself against it. Don't fall that way. I didn't, I didn't want you to do that. There we go. Now we're gonna see if we can't fire the torpedoes. I don't think it's working because the uh, torpedo chambers, well, they should be flooded, right? All right, we're gonna destroy the ship. Torpedo! I love that. I just love it. We should call this torpedo versus submarine torpedo versus ship simulator. Now, I'm gonna go to the bottom. I don't want to damage the U-boat. <laughs> it's a submarine, but I'm calling it U-boats. And then I need to find a piece to put in front of it. I'm thinking about using the command tower, potentially. What should we do next? There is a space station. There's an airplane. There was a couple other really cool ones. There's the giant towers that are in Malaysia and Kuala Lumpur, I believe. All right, we're nearly to the bottom now. And look at just how amazing that is. And I love how, what are these called? The diving fins, maybe? All right, so we're gonna have to... Oh, that's not what I want to do. I thought it was gonna be a little more gradual. I wanted to ease off right before we touch the ground in, in order to keep this thing uh, relatively intact. So we're gonna slowly start coming off of it. We wanted it. We wanted it to touch the bottom, though. Look how look how slowly it's going. Let's see how good the physics are, because if it just all of, it, all of a sudden just smashes apart when we just ease into it, <laughs> we know that that could be a little bit better, eh? All right, this is assembly. Let's see what you got for me. Touch the ground. Touch the ground. Oh, oh! It nestled perfectly. Now, I got... Oh, my gosh. Here, let's see if I can't pull this down. I can! Oh, and it floats. No, oh, that's not good. I don't want you to float, you stupid boat. I want you to be right in front of this. Oh! Alright, fire! <laughs> oh, dude, look how cool this thing looks now. Okay, so let's see if the... I also wish you could have a little better visualization, like, is there water in here? I don't think so, but what if we... Now, sh technically, water should be flooding in here, right? But yeah, I guess it doesn't necessarily work like that. Yeah, because this is exposed to the elements, but okay. Oh, there we go. Now you can see the bubbles and the water gone, but you can't... What if there was, like, an uh, an accurate flooding mechanism and visualization of it? Yeah, because now it's like all of a sudden the whole thing is flooded, right? And it, this is the extent of it, which is still cool, but it could be it could be awesome, man. I hope they... I hope they expound on this idea because it's a very unique idea. And I think that's why everybody is loving this, including myself right now. So, that is the submarine. We've sunk it. Now, we've got to actually go through and at some point. So, I want you guys to let me know which ones you'd like to see. Pick three of them, comment below, and uh, go ahead and, like, if you see a comment and you're like, man, those vehicles and things would be cool to take apart, you know, upvote it. Let's upvote it as we normally do, Barons Brigade. Thank you for watching Airplanes skyscraper space stations the helicopter and the titanic we've got a missile there we've got a lot of cool things to to take apart break apart and um everyone's got like a little thing let's actually just preview this now oh i have no controls over this i have no controls over it i want it see why, why where's the death where's the laser everybody knows that the international space station has a laser on it man you know now what happens oh is this Oh, and it just floats off into space? Oh man, this could be very difficult then. If you just let a part fly off into space. Now, how do you make this thing crash? Anyway, I think we're gonna have to figure that out for the next one, because this is pretty cool, man. Oh, each one of these panels is... Oh my gosh. And then it just floats off because there's no gravity. I love it! Look how cool that looks. All right, guys, thank you for watching. My name is Baron. Thank you for watching another episode of Disassembly. I will see you guys in the next video, and let me know what we should take apart, what we should destructify and have fun with.
Have a good one.